Hey, it's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a few simple animations using CSS. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey uh, let's create some very basic animations. I'll create a simple box. I'll use a div element and give this element a unique ID of box1. And within this box, let's say hi. And within our style sheet, let's set the box one element to have a width of 250 pixels. Same thing goes with the height. Let's change the background to maybe red. I'll give the font a size of 225 and text align center. To use an animation, we first, well, have to create an animation. And we can do that by using the keyframes rule. So at keyframes, and then follow this with a unique name for your animation. For this first example, let's have this element slide into place from the right. I'll name this my slide, something unique. Two keywords that we can add to our animation are from and to, and follow each with a set of curly braces. From will be any properties you would like to apply to this element when you begin the animation. The two keyword are the ending properties. Let's have margin left begin at 100%. So the margin on the left of our element is going to take up 100% of the width of our window. And this animation will end with margin left being 0%. There will be no margin on the left of this element. This will be a gradual transition between these two properties but we have to set a length of time that this animation is going to take. But before that, we have to specify an animation by setting the animation property to the name of your animation. Mine is my slide. And we need to set a duration. Animation duration. Let's say that this entire animation will take five seconds, five S. And there we go. With our keyframes, there is a gradual change between these properties, anything within from and to. We can repeat this animation as many times as what we would like. Animation, iteration, count. You can set this to one, two, three, or infinite. So this animation will loop when you set the animation iteration count to infinite. A couple other things you can do too. You can add animation play state and the default is running, but you can set this to paused and the animation will pause in place, but let's keep that at running. You can add a delay, animation, delay. Maybe we'll have this begin after one second. So it's been one second, then the animation begins. I'll keep that at zero. Okay, this next one is animation timing function. So right now our animation is occurring linearly. We could have this ease in. So this accelerates, but doesn't slow down. Ease out, where we begin quickly and then slowly decelerate. Ease will do both. It accelerates and then decelerates near the end or linear, where it's a constant animation. There is a shortcut where you can apply all six of these properties. And just to demonstrate, I will place all of these within one giant comment block. So beginning in this order, we begin with the duration. This time, let's say three seconds. Then the timing function, linear, a delay if you need one, I will keep that as zero. The iteration count, that will be infinite. The place date, running. Then the animation, my slide. So this is a shortcut where you can combine all six of these separate properties. You can also place this animation within a pseudo class. In this next example, I would like this element to only be animated while I have the cursor over this element. So I can use a pseudo class for that. So box one and the pseudo class of hover. And I will place my animation within that pseudo class. And then we should probably switch these margins around. 
so that it slides to the right instead. This animation will begin if I place my cursor over this image, or we could set this to active. It's going to play if I click on it, box one, colon, active. And then let's place our animation within it. So nothing's happening until I click down on this image, but once I let go, the animation ends. So you can combine animations with pseudo classes. Let's create a couple more animations. How about a rotation? Let's name this my rotate. So you can use percentages too. You don't necessarily have to use both from and to. Let's say that once this animation reaches 100%, I would like to apply the transform property and we will perform an X rotation of 360 degrees. So let's set the animation to my rotate. So that is an X rotation. Let's do this with Y. And let's get rid of that. Here is a Y rotation and a Z rotation. Let's change the opacity. So at keyframes, my opacity. Okay, this time we will set this to 50%. Then your animation will have these properties revert to what they originally were when you began the animation. So at 50%, let's set the opacity to zero. So this will fade out, then fade in. See, if I set this to 100%, this will fade out slowly and then snap back into place. But if you set it to 50, there will be a gradual transition and then it's going to revert back after 50%. Let's change the scale of our element. At keyframes, my scale. Let's have our image shrink and then grow back in place using transform scale 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So this will shrink and then grow. And lastly, let's change the colors. This will be a challenge round. Keyframes, my color change. We'll go through the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So let's have this begin at 0%. We will have the background color be red. Then at 20%, this will be orange. 40 will be yellow, 60 will be green, 80% will be blue, and 100% will be purple. Actually, since our element is beginning as the color red, we don't necessarily need this specific portion. Okay, let's try this. My color change. So we should be able to go through these colors. And then it becomes red again at the end. So yeah, those are some simple animations. In order to use an animation, you have to create an animation. So you use at keyframes and then come up with a unique animation name and then set some properties on what you need exactly. So yeah, those are some very basic animations in CSS. If this video helped you out, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.